Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? You already know who this is. This is your girl, Queen B. Yes, Queen B is in the house. Now, anyone that's been following me for like maybe the past almost two years now, since I've been doing blogging on a serious, more serious note, would know that when I first began, I began right here. Yeah, right in front of my fireplace, right? And as time went on, whenever Queen Bee came in front of her fireplace, it was going to be a serious, serious topic. So, tonight is no different, right? Tonight, I really, truly want to have a conversation with you guys. And... Of course, you guys already see what's going on in social media right now, right? Concerning, you know, with Ashanti, um, HTK, Lady V, you know, Chit Chat, you know, the whole scenario that just went down. And including um, Kingston 13, right? We see what's going on within that circle of ladies against Ashanti. And, you know... It's like all of a sudden, I'm starting to feel a sense of, com I don't know how to say the word, but I'm going to try, camaraderie, right? Among women coming together, trying to say, let's silence this guy. And I'm thinking to myself, like, hmm, Queen B, I wonder what's the difference this time around. Because this man has been doing what he's doing for the past five years. He has not changed. He has not done anything different. He go up on a neat woman just like he's been doing for five years. He slaughtered them. He disrespects them. He, you know, he slaughtered their family, tear them apart. I mean, this man is not doing anything different than what he's been doing in the past five years. And don't get me wrong, this is not about any form of defending or even trying to excuse away anything. Because you know Queen B definitely don't like or agree with his behavior, period. And I already stated what I stated, and I'm not going to take that back. It's all about making money, content, and entertainment. It has nothing to defend anybody. So we're going to take that out of the way, right? Because I already established that. So I don't need to go over that again. So I want to just basically just focus on him and them. Him and them. And what I want to know among these women that I'm finally suddenly feeling this sense of camaraderie amongst these females against his behavior and against the fact they all come together now to agree that it's time for it to stop. And what I want to know is what make that difference now? Why everybody suddenly woke up? Because this man has been this way for five years. It's only different players, different victims. That's all. That's the only thing that changed is the players and the victims that changes. But the behavior remained the same. And even worse in some occasions. And no one took the stance to say, hey, let's stand together as a woman. No one took the time to say, oh, it's time for it to stop. And I want to ask the question to these ladies. And, 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 and don't get me wrong now. I'm not here to bash any of those ladies that I mentioned because I respect each and every last one of them in their own individual way. So don't get me wrong. I'm not here to bash them. I'm just here to ask some questions. Why now? What's the difference? What made that difference? What was the turning point? What was the final nail in the coffin that made you guys finally suddenly woke up and say, hey, we need to get together and stop this person. Because I've been hearing MC crying out for that 
for for years women let's get together we need to stop this let's you know join forces i've heard tc say it so many times i've heard you know lorraine i mean i've i've heard other females been asking for that for the past year or two like hey let's band together we don't need to be friends we don't need to like each other we don't need to agree on the same agenda but at the end of the day because this man is so disrespectful and constantly destroying our family, our relationship, you know, our wives, our husbands. He, he's just doing the most nonstop. Let's get together, right? And everyone turn a blind ear, including all the names that I mentioned. Everyone turn a blind ear. Ear. Matter of fact, some of them even join in with him, right? Because Lady V, let me address you first, because I hear you on your live tonight. And again, I'm not here to bash you. I'm not here to disrespect you, but I'm here to speak my mind and to tell you what my opinion is concerning certain situations, right? I hear you on your live tonight, and you're preaching this preaching about woman power and women, you know, coming together and this need to stop and he needs to stop and he needs to stop. And when did you realize, Lady V, that he needs to stop? Let's be for real now. He did it to Miss D. You never came out and said he needed to stop. He did it to TC. You never came out and said this need to stop. Lorraine, Ma, everybody, right? He done it to other females. He have done it to even you in the past. He have done it to so many different other females. And you never came out and say he needs to stop. Matter of fact, you joined in because you joined on his live to come out to speak against the females that was out there. And you actually body shamed them. You actually said a few words that was really not nice on his platform towards some of these ladies. And you never, ever once say, hey, you need to stop. You never said it publicly. If you said it behind the scene, that don't count. If you spoke to him privately on the phone, that does not count. But when did you come out the way you came out now, tonight, and publicly go against it publicly disregard and also, you know, saying that we need to get together as females or, you know, he needs to stop or this is not right. When is this going to stop? You know, did you come out at that point and do that, Lady V? No, you did not. You joined in and disrespected woman. So as much as I am listening to you tonight, I'm not listening. Because I don't listen to people who have joined with him recently. I am not talking about the fact that maybe it was years ago that you joined him. It was years ago that you were on his platform. I'm talking a couple months ago. You was on his program disrespecting females and using his platform to body shame them. And you thought that was cute. You thought that was funny because you thought that would have gave you some kind of safety coverage. And it backfired on you. HTK, I could honestly say you did not deserve it. Because you wasn't around at the time. You, I never hear you call in on his platform. If you did, I didn't see that show that night. But I've never heard you call on his platform degrading any females or degrading anybody on his platform. So I never saw that you joined with him in that sense. But yes, you made a few excuses for him. You try to be diplomatic in telling him about his ways in a very diplomatic, nice way, right? Which is your style, so I can't knock you for that. So I can't really put you in that. So if you come out and ask for uh, camaraderie among female, and if you come out and speak against the fact that it's wrong and he needs to stop and we all need to get together as female and do something about it, I would more listen to you. But what I'm trying to say is, and the question again that I'm asking, what 
made the difference now compared to what he's been doing for the past five years. No one came out with this camaraderie when he was going at Miss D. No one came out with this camaraderie when he was going at people like MC and the TCs and the L's and all these other females that he done dip under, dip over, dip between. Tell them how they pum pum stink. I never hear you guys come out and say, let's get together and put a stop to this. So the question is, what's the difference now? What is causing you guys now to get together and say, let's stop it? Because if there's no big, you know, difference or no big, you know, situation that actually happened for us to say, okay, it's time for it to stop. If it was nothing major like that for us to start now saying it, we're going to sound like a bunch of hypocrites. And that's the reason why it's not going to go anywhere. That's the reason why females on this platform is writing in the comment section saying, we're going to support you. They're all hypocrites. They hate each other. They bash each other. They're hypocrites among each other. That's the reason why they're writing these in the comment section because they see it for themselves. It was nothing really major happened to now get you to change your mind or see things differently to now want to come together as female. So therefore, we all going to come across as a bunch of hypocrites. And I cannot blame them for saying that. Because this is not a new behavior for him. This has been going on for five years. Again, only the players was changed. The victims was changed. The situation and scenarios have changed. But it's the same person doing the same thing towards women. And towards people in general that he feel is either, um, I can't say, well, doing better than him or have more money than him or richer than him or dress better than him. I don't know the reason why he come after certain individuals, but only thing I could tell you, nothing has changed about his behavior in the last past five years. Nothing. The only difference is for right now, He's holding off from doing certain things when it comes to certain persons. That's the only difference. But other than that, it's the same Ashanti. Ain't nothing changed. So why, why are you guys now calling for change? That's the question I want to know. I just want to know. Like what, what was, you know, can somebody tell me, can somebody write it in the comment section and tell me what's the big major event or difference that happened that caused them now to want to come together as female and say enough is enough. Wasn't enough is enough when he did it to Miss D? Wasn't enough and this is enough when he was doing it to MC? Wasn't enough was enough as a man against a woman when he was doing it to the other individuals? Because I don't want to believe that the big event is because he's doing it to HTK. I don't want to believe that. I don't want to believe that the big event that making everyone now wants to suddenly come out and say, hey, let's get together as women. Women power. Oh, let's, you know, let, let's strengthen each other. Let's, you know, let's come against this man for women. Let's stand up to him as women. The only difference that I could see is the fact that he's coming hard against HTK once again. He's coming hard against L um, Lady V once again. It's those two individuals, the only one that mattered, that made y'all change your minds and willing to come together to fight this ridiculousness that's been going on for five years. What about Miss D? Did she not count? And that's the reason why sometimes I question some of you guys' agenda when it comes to her. That's why I question some of you guys' motives when it comes to her. Because you would think that's the time you would have came together as a strong arm person to say, hey, let's stand up, let's go against him. Let you know, I would think 
you would have rejected the peace treaty because of the behavior and the lack of proper apology publicly, heartfeltly. But no, he was embraced. And once he was embraced, he was allowed to go after every other female and go under every other female other than Miss D. And it was okay with you guys as females. It was okay. It was approved. It was um, piggybacked on because some of you guys came out and did the same thing to other females and one another. So what's the difference now? What changed? I am all for improvement. I am all for coming together to try to see if we could help eliminate and to stop the madness that's going on on social media. And it ain't just about just Ashanti. It's about all of us as a whole, all of us as bloggers, all of us need to make changes in order for it to be peace or some form of peace on social media. It's going to take a collective of all of us bloggers to make that happen. It's not going to happen with just eliminating Ashanti. Because as soon as you eliminate him, you still have other male bloggers out there that's doing the same disrespectful thing. Maybe they're not doing it as harshly. Maybe they're not doing it as disrespectfully. But they're still out there doing it. All in the name of defending. And the reason why you can know most of them is not doing anything for defense is because even when TC and the MCs, uh, you know, when they come out and they're not even speaking about, you know, the, the, the um, Miss D, they're not even, their conversation was even about Miss D. Their conversation was about their private life. Their private, you know, the conversation was about, you know, going out with their man and eating food with their man and, you know, cocking up in the bed with their man or up with their man. You know, their conversation was about doing they here and you know who, who have the best wig and the nice wig you know the conversation was about their cake business and you know the conversation was totally different it was nowhere near Miss D and yet these bloggers will still come out and attack these people and put up all kind of emojis on the platform and these ugly you know with doo doo and dog shit and all kind of shit and you know and they go after them they play their video and dissect it down and it had nothing to do with Miss D her name was not even mentioned when these people were doing their lives so that's why I know for a fact a lot of it is all about content and making money and I'm not knocking it per se, but at least be honest about it. Be honest. Don't come out and act as if you're, you know, you're breaking down somebody's video in the sense like, oh, I'm trying to, you know, bring the truth out to the public. Or I'm trying to dissect it because I want them to know the truth because what you're saying, you know, has nothing to do with, with nothing but a bunch of lies or hypocritical. Okay, it had to do with my boyfriend. It had to do with me going out to dinner with my man. It happened to me, you know, with me going to church. What that had to do with you dissecting that and it has nothing to do with Miss D. So no. It's not always about defending anybody. It's just about creating content. And as long as they continue to just stick on one group of people to make those co content, it's going to constantly be a backlash. Because not everybody is going to ignore. Everybody is not going to just sit quiet and say, okay, I'm not going to run out tonight and defend myself. No. Some of them are. And you have one particular one that they're going to constantly always come out to defend themselves, right? So he's going to constantly have that type of content. So it's not going to stop. So that's the reason why I'm saying collectively as bloggers, we all need to stop. We need to stop. And, and stopping mean, you know, yes, 
you know, you could post your stuff on your platform, um, post videos, you could post drama, you could post a mix up, you could post this, you could post that. But long as you don't get personal with it, long as it's not like a personal blog, you know, you, you're going to put up something and say, you know, look at this big fat cow or, or look at, you know, big bird or look at this or look at, you know what I'm saying? As long as we're not like personalizing it towards one particular person. Yeah, you could do that because that's blogging and people want to hear that kind of mess. But when you get personal with it, then it becomes a problem. The only person you have to pray for me, Queen B, about when it becomes personal or doing anything personal is Gracie. Yes. That one you have to pray for me about. Because anything I post, if it's concerning her, is going to be something personal. Yes. I, I admit, I agree. But let all just try. So getting back to Ashanti now. You guys are not going to stop what's going on with him until he, in his own mind, decides to stop. And the only way I see him stopping is going to come from his own audience. Because he's all about pleasing his audience. He's about giving them what they want. And as long as they want blood, as long as they want war, as long as they want mix up and pass up, pass, as long as they want individuals to be torn down, as long as their blood urge for it and that's what they want and, and that's what they want to feed on, that is what he's going to feed them constantly, regardless of what you, I, or anybody else say. So only his audience could change what direction he goes. By them stop supporting that type of behavior and ask for something different. And until they get tired of it, there will be no changes, unfortunately. So Lady V, you might have to save your breath. HTK, continue doing what you do. Spitting that good knowledge, spitting that, you know, deep type of knowledge that I, I like deep knowledge. Yeah, I, I, I'm deep. You know what I'm saying? So I love deep knowledge. Continue spitting that. Everyone else, it's up to you if you guys want to continue to feed into the madness. Kingston 13, big up yourself. Yes, you have given some of us out here the strength to step forward. And to be honest, let me tell my truth in this. I was more nervous of you coming at me than Ashanti. <laughs> I was more afraid of you and your damn mouth. And the shit that you probably going to make up and say about me, that's not even true. But it's going to sound so true that I'm going to be so sheer and embarrassed. I mean, it wouldn't have chased me off social media because, you know, I'm a Taurus too. So, you know, I'm stubborn. But I would have felt embarrassed of the things you may have came out and said. I'm not afraid of more Ashanti's mouth. It's just that he goes a little further when he tried to involve your family. And that's the part I definitely don't like. So once you and Ashanti parted, that's when I felt safe enough. Because now I know uh, I might be a little bit safer. <laughs> now that you may not be coming at me. So in all honesty... Yes, you gave some of us the strength to come forward, but on my part, to be honest, it was more of, okay, that's one less person I need to worry about coming at me, and that was you. All right? All right. Anyway, guys, you guys have a wonderful night, evening, afternoon, morning, any part of the world you're in today, and anytime you see me in front of this fireplace, yes, I'm coming to speak up the things and talk up the things in a serious way. 
Queen B love you guys for free. And until we speak to each other again, have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.